Fort Polk has been active for 82 years, but for the first time, it will now be known as Fort Johnson. News 10's Danielle Johnson was there for the changing of the name. This coin isn't the only thing honoring Sergeant William Henry Johnson. Earlier, a rededication ceremony was held at Fort Polk to rename the Army Fort to Fort Johnson to recognize his brave spirit. It represents Sergeant Johnson finally getting the recognition that he waited almost 100 years to duly get. What an honor. I'm truly humbled just to be a part of it. The story of Sergeant Johnson is incredible. He truly forged the warrior spirit. Fort Polk was named after Confederate General Leonidas K. Polk. Now it's Fort Johnson. General David W. Gardner and Command Sergeant Major David Hansen says honoring Sergeant Johnson by renaming Fort Polk is a way to remember his spirit and share his story. Sergeant Johnson fought in World War I. It was then he single-handedly fought off a German raiding party and saving a fellow soldier. The French military honored him for that heroic act. It wasn't until after his death in 1929 did Johnson receive any recognition from the U.S. military. Tara Johnson, Johnson's granddaughter, says the renaming of Fort Polk is truly special. This is a caveat to our journey. Um, and it's, a, it's so fitting because it's a training center. And so these guys are going to come from all over our country to come here and be trained and learn a little bit about the strong soldier Henry Johnson was. Fort Polk is one of nine Army forts named after Confederate generals being renamed. Uh, Fort Polk has existed for many years, but the community continues to embrace us as the best community in America, and they're going to embrace uh, JRTC and Fort Johnson. They have told us repeatedly. With the motto, Forging the Warrior Spirit, Fort Johnson will continue training America's soldiers. At Fort Johnson, Jasmine Dean, KLFY News 10.